Okay, so I'm talking about um, book 25, Attack of the Mutant. Also great cover art. Uh, this cover alone makes me think Tim Jacobus could have been a comic book artist. Um, that's just really great. That's actually some of the best illustration I've seen in anything. Not just Goosebumps, although these books have great covers and are some of my favorite illustrations of all time. But he really outdid himself on this one. This is actually one of my, my favorite, favorite book covers of anything. And this is actually one of my very favorite books in the Goosebumps series. So, um, uh, just where do I even start? Uh, so anyways, I just, I kind of want to give a little more detailed synopsis in this one. So it's about this kid named Skipper Matthews, and he's a huge comic book nerd. He loves reading comic books. Like, he has several. He's collected a bunch of them. He even has some really rare ones. And his favorite comic book series of all time is called The Masked Mutant. He loves The Masked Mutant. Who is The Masked Mutant? It is a supervillain who has, like, the deadliest foe in all of the universe. And all these other superheroes try to stop him, but he always ekes his way out at the last minute. And, um... <clears throat> He just, you know, he adores his character. He thinks he's scary and powerful and very interesting. And, um, you know, and it's evident through his writing that Stein loves comic books himself. And this is kind of his valentine to comic books as a medium. Well, anyways, um, one day Skipper's on his way to an orthodontist appointment when he gets lost on this side of town that he's never been to before. And when he gets off the bus in this little, like, vacant lot, he discovers the mutant's headquarters from the comics, which is this building here. Um, he's like, holy shit, basically. I mean, he doesn't actually say holy shit, but, you know. He says, holy shit, it's the... <laughs> I wish that actually would have been in here. You know, I, I, I want more kids' books to have the phrase, holy shit, look at this in there. So he says, holy shit, look at this. It's the Mass Mutant's headquarters. And he tries to go inside, but it won't let him. And so he, uh, you know, he, you know, gets back on the bus and goes to his orthodox appointment. Well, the next day, he's like, I gotta go back. I gotta fucking find this place. Because this is obviously what he talks like in a kid's book. He's like, I gotta fucking find the headquarters in the Mass Mutant again. Because there's no way that... It's based, you know, this is an actual place. And he meets this girl on the bus who he becomes friends with, and she's like, I love comics. And he's like, oh, really? What are your, some of your favorite comics? And she says, like, this Archie and Jughead knockoff thing. And he's like, oh, that's for pussies. And she's like, is not. What are you into? And he's like, the fucking mass mutant. <laughs> you gotta like the way I rewrite Stein's dialogue. <laughs> And so they get off the bus because he's like, I saw where the headquarters in this building that looks just like it. And she's like, cool, show me. And they get there and it's completely gone. Well, anyways, shortly thereafter, Skipper starts getting comic books of the Mass Mutant in the mail. Like, pretty quickly. Like, um, the publisher of the Mass Mutant comics apparently starts churning them out the way on these Goosebumps videos. And he gets one, like, every day. And he sees himself in the comic book. Um, he sees that he finds the headquarters, and he's like, whoa, what? And then, like, later on, he goes back to the headquarters. He actually goes inside, looks around, sees, like, all the super villain mad scientist shit in there. And sees himself in there, in the comic books. And so the comic books are getting more and more to where, like, he starts seeing himself go further and further in the headquarters. And at the end, he's confronted by, guess who? The fucking mutant. And it turns out the girl he met on the bus is the fucking mutant. <laughs> and he's like, there was no girl the whole time. It was me, because I'm a fucking shapeshifter. <laughs> and there's just, like, cool superhero guy there. Thing. He's like, the kid Skipper's like, help me. Help me. Kick his ass. Get me out of here. And the superhero's like, you're on your own, kid. And then, like, the mutant's like, you're on your own. You heard him. I'm going to defeat you. And then, like, Skipper comes up with a plan. He's like, wait, you can't defeat me because I'm secretly a superhero in disguise. And, <laughs> and he was like, are you? And he's like, yeah, I'm a elastic boy. And the book ends with him, like, getting out of there. And uh, before he does, the mutant's like, you're actually a superhero. You're a comic book character. I turned you into one. Because when you came in here, like, you tripped like a laser wire to turn you into a comic book character. 
And Skipper is like, fuck you, I'm not a comic book character. And he actually, like, kills the mutant by... Because he mutant could change anything as long as it's not liquid. And he makes, tricks him into changing into water. And he dies. And he goes back home. And Skipper is like, ooh, I had quite the day. I want to get a slice of cake. And so when he slices in the cake, he accidentally cuts his finger. And instead of ink running out, or blood running out, ink runs out. I just spoiled it before I even spoiled it. And uh, that's how it ends. Like he, Skipper has, in fact, turned into a comic book character. And that's how it ends. And I really like it. It's actually, it's very fun. It's a fun mystery that you don't see coming. Um, I mean, I guess you could see that the girl will actually be mutant. But it's definitely a Valentine of comics, and you can tell Stein loves comics. And this is just one of my favorites, because I love the character. I love Skipper. I love the idea of the mass Keaton. I like that he's so into comics. I like that he discovers that his favorite comic is based on a real character in a real place. That's really cool to me. So anyways, that's it for this one, and I'll be back with another vlog, or vlog, as they're pronounced, soon. Uh... And I'll try to keep them coming. So until then, I will see you later. Bye.